as we move into 2011, we wanted to take a look back at 2010, the hits and the misses of the year. So joining us now from San Francisco is Pete Cashmore. He is CEO and founder of Mashable.com. That's one of the most popular blogs on the internet. And Pete, when we look at the winners of 2010, you really have to look at Steve Jobs and Apple. Right. Yeah, I think one of the big hits this year has been the iPad. Not only has the iPad been, you know, one of the most wanted Christmas gifts this year, but, um, you know, it's really redefined what we expect from a device. And not only that, but it's, it's created a new market for applications like Flipboard, which is a new way to read content on uh, the tablet device, much like a magazine. Uh, so it's really redefining the way we consume content, and it's also one of the most popular Christmas gifts uh, this year. Yeah, it's interesting, especially since a lot of people had said when the iPad was first launched, they didn't know what, how it would be used, that it has since spawned so many successful applications. What about um, blogging? Because that took off many years ago, but in 2010, you had Tumblr come out, and that made blogging that much easier. So Tumblr is about three years old at this point, but it's really had a great deal of success this year. It's a New York startup. Uh, it's VC funded, um, but it's really been the breakout year 2010 for Tumblr. It's seen a massive amount of growth, and as a result, it's actually suffered some downtime because they can't keep up with the growth, but a real breakout hit for this year, yes. Facebook has been another big winner in 2010, but there are a lot of losers in the social networking arena. You've got Rockmelt, a social browser, um, also Diaspora, which is a, a rival of Facebook. Why weren't they able to gain any traction? So I think it's very early to tell for uh, Rockmelt that just came out recently. Um, but I think it's going to struggle somewhat because what Rockmelt's trying to do is put social into the web browser. And we've seen this before with a browser called Flock and it didn't really take off. People just continued to go to Facebook. So I think Rockmelt might struggle. We've had Diaspora come out this year, uh, release some of their code. They're still working on it. Uh, it's supposed to be a possible rival to Facebook with more privacy settings. But I think that one might struggle as well. It doesn't really seem that people want to switch away from Facebook. Mm. Google has also kind of struggled to find some traction as well. I mean, it's uh bid for a Groupon was handedly rejected. It's also got this Chrome operating system. And, and you say that it's, it's not as easy as you might want it to be to use. Right, so Google's kind of a mixed picture. They've just brought out a new uh, laptop for testing purposes that runs their new Chrome OS. Uh, this is a really simple OS that just uses the web. I kind of have a mixed feelings about that one. It seems very, very basic, and I'm not sure that consumers are going to want something that basic. On social, Google's not doing that well against Facebook, but Google's doing really, really well in the mobile space, and I think Android is going to be a huge success in 2011 and continue to grow and probably even overtake iOS as the leader in the mobile space. Hmm. But Google is not abandoning its social networking ambitions either. Google is supposedly bringing out uh, a new social play in 2011, which is a kind of a social fabric that ties together all its various properties. Um, it's not planning to launch a social network to rival Facebook, though. So I think Facebook will probably be ascendant next year and become the, the leading website in the world. Uh, we started this segment with Apple. Let's talk about how so far there hasn't really been any competition to the iPad, but next year we're going to see the launch of BlackBerry's long-awaited uh, playbook, uh, the Research in Motions product. And of course there's going to be more tablet devices on the market. You say that next year could be really the year that tablet fever picks up pace. It very much will be. I think some of the uh, Apple rivals have been caught on the back foot a little bit by the iPad. There was a lot of skepticism uh, when it was first being released about whether people would actually want to use a device on their couches. I think really the iPad has the critical mass to stay ahead. It's all about the applications on these devices and it just so happens that the iPad being popular is going to have a lot more applications developed for it. So it's going to be a much more useful device than some of its rivals which will have trouble attracting developers. Pete, what is the biggest surprise in technology in 2010? Very quickly here. Um, I think the iPad very much is, but I also think Facebook's ascent was not assured at the start of 2010. I think at the end of 2010, it's very, very clear that Facebook intends to become the biggest website in the world and may actually be a long-term play, much like a Google or a Microsoft or an Apple. All right, so Facebook joining the ranks of Apple, Google, and Microsoft in 2010. Thank you so much. Pete Cashmore, the chairman and CEO of Mashable in San Francisco.